uh, almost the end of your second year. I remember going to see you in high school, and I remember you talking about how you had a little bit of a chip back then. Like, mm -hmm. Michigan was recruiting you. You didn't really get to talk too much from Ohio State and all that, some of the other big Power 5 schools. How much did, did you did you use that as motivation? How did that, did that drive you, at least initially? Um, to start? I mean, out of high school, I didn't have a big recruiting profile. Like, I was a three-star all up until, like, um, right before I signed to Michigan. And um, just like being looked over, because I knew I was better than a lot of people that were above me. Just right. being looked over, like gave me a chip on my shoulder, and um, I just took that and used it as fuel and, and progressed with my game. What were the, first, the the biggest steps you think you took in your game? You played significantly as a freshman, but going from year one, year two to where you are now. Well, just coming in as a freshman, when I first started, it just started off with me wanting to learn the playbook. Like I, I started off like doing that like hard and. And taking like all my mistakes and taking it to heart and correcting them and never making the same mistakes again and then just applying everything that Coach Blake and everybody um, put into me on the field and, and just going from there. How comfortable are you out there now compared to where you were? As soon as we came out our first game, I was comfortable from the start. Because last year it was like just getting my feet wet really. And I'm like, yeah, I was doing tackle, making good tackles and everything. But like, now I'm kind of putting everything together and it's making it. You feel like you're sort of like the quarterback out on the field, at least in the back end, of the defense calling on stuff. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's what I say. Just have to do that, and I try to do that as best as I can. You know, sometimes it's hard, you know, to be loud. And, right. You know, I try my best. Thoughts on this TCU offense? Obviously, they have some talented receivers, a talented quarterback. They got a running back that they will get some yards. I mean, they bring a little bit of everything. What What are What are your thoughts when you put in the tape? I mean, I'm just keep it short and sweet. Uh, they they give us problems everywhere, and we're gonna have to stop all those problems. You want you want to start from the inside. I mean, interior to the exterior. I mean, they have weapons everywhere, just like we do on defense. So I mean, we're gonna have to stop them. Is it, is, you guys have been pretty good at this all year, staying one game at a time. How tough is it knowing that you got one more game after this potentially for a national championship, or is it just the same status quo? Well, how, how are you guys? You know, staying focused just on TCU, knowing that with this win, there's bigger things ahead. I mean, you can't look over a team like this, and you have to stay focused on what the task at hand before you go to the next task. You know, we just have to be able to win this game and go to the national championship because that's the ultimate goal. But, I mean, it's not really that tough because everyone knows the mission. And so, like, you know, you got to handle what's in front of you first before you go.